हे गाइज एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम अमित शेखर एंड आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो वंस अगेन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अनदर एंड्रॉयड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस एंड एज यू नो दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द सीरीज एंड्रॉयड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस एंड आंसर्स एंड फॉर दैट यू कैन फाइंड द प्ले लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो एंड फॉर टूडे द क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज अ रिफाइड की वर्ड इन कॉटलिन सो नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इट एंड वंस अगेन आई हैव टेकन एन एग्जाम्पल to help you understand this difficult topic in a very very simple way and that's my motto i am going to simplify the complex topic in such a way that you understand it completely and you should be very confident about these concepts so let's begin now here what i have done i have created a data class user and we have the field name in this data class user right so this we are going to use for this example purpose now we have the main function as we have always and here i have created user json and for that the format is json right so then what we have to do the problem statement is that we need to convert this user string which is a json into the user data class right so basically this json is representing this data class which is a user right so this we have to convert so for that what we can do simply we can use the json library from the google and we should be able to convert it right so whenever we use the json library right first we create the object of that and then we have the method from json in that we will have to pass like this user and user json and one more important thing we need to pass here which is the type of that so to find out the type what we will do we will write like this user type type token user and then dot type so like this we will have to write okay so then what will happen this user will become the user type okay so then we can simply write like this print ln user dot name so now let me just run it and show you what is happening so here as you can see it is printing amit so this is fine so what is the problem here the problem is that every time whenever we will convert the json into the data class object we will have to write this code right so this one line of code every time we will have to write so can we do something for it so for that what we will do we can create a function for that right so for example here we are going to create an extension function so let's see how we are going to do that so i have already created so i will just uncomment it right so this is a function which i have created what it will do it will internally do this one right so basically this is there right so this i am going to do internally here as you can see right so now i will simply delete it and this is an extension function and the name is same i have kept so we will not have to pass this right so now this is calling this one and internally what it is doing it is calling the json from json right that method only is getting called internally so json and the type so now what we can do we can simply use json dot from json which is the extension function everywhere right so we don't have to write this line of code again and again so this is an extension function that we can use everywhere right so that it will be easier for us as well right but when we run this so let's see what is happening it is throwing an exception so the issue is that it cannot be cast to the user class right so that is the issue here so what is the issue here why it is not able to cast to the user object so the problem is that here we have used the generics right why we have used because at some places we might have to pass the type as a game object so maybe at some places we might pass it to the person so maybe at some places we might need the car object right so for that we will have to change the type here so that is why what we have done we have made it a generic right so we should be able to pass any type wherever we are using it so for that we have made it generic but because we have made it generic what is happening here during the code compilation the type is getting erased 
so that is happening because the type is getting erased during the code compilation so that also we can check it now so for that what we will have to do so now let's check the compiled code so for that what we can do we can go to the tools and then we have the kotlin and then we have so kotlin bytecode i will click on this and now we will try to check it so first i will click on the decompile right here so let's go and check what is happening here so here so as you can see here there is no mention of the user type at all and that is why i am telling that it is getting erased during the code compilation right so now what is the solution for this so the solution for this is the refight keyword to preserve the type right so for that what we will do we will add the refight keyword here in kotlin so this is the refight keyword which i have added and when i add this it will ask me to add the inline as well right so i have added that now let's see and run this after we have done the addition of the refight keyword so it is working as expected and this is perfect so we have got our solution and the solution is the refight keyword in kotlin so now what i will do i will again go to the source code tools kotlin so kotlin bytecode decompile now as we can see here there is a mention of test kt main inline from json1 right and when we go and check this one inside this okay so i will just remove this so that i can check in this so i will show you that as well so that is present here test kt main inline from json so here if you see the signature is now getting preserved which is the user so that is why this is working after the addition of the refight keyword in kotlin so what is the meaning of refight refight means making something more concrete or real right and that is what we are doing here we are asking the code compiler to retain the type of the object and that is why this is now working for us so i hope that you must have understood the use case of refight keyword in kotlin and you should be able to explain this during the interview as well and this is how i recommend everyone to learn by checking the byte code and then try to learn more about it right so that's it for now and i hope we all have understood about the refight keyword in kotlin please like share comment and subscribe to my channel and if you want me to create more videos on specific questions so please let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to do it have a great learning ahead and I will see you in the next video.